a course, but they are looking one, word, one, one way. They have their idea, but we have to confess that there are some people who are very moderate, very, uh, uh, they consider, I know somebody who made trips with a group of the congressmen to come to Egypt to know the real story there. But so very few. Very few. But very few are interested but, but, but in the they, right uh, or but, the real but picture. But they have influence, mm -hmm. and they do something. Sometimes we misuse uh, uh, our relationship or, I would say, the media, our media. We have to show them how can we behave together, what we can do together. If you go to the schools, you cannot separate Christian from Muslims. Right. In a hospital, you cannot separate Christian from in any, in any business. Mm. This is our life. Yes. Usually, they take the dark point and put all the lights around mm. and leave the, 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 the rest of the It's, the it's more convenient. Yes. Um, um, Your Excellency, the Egyptian <coughs> foreign minister flew to New York to get a consolidated front to fight Daesh. Yet, the American president unilaterally asked for the same thing from his Congress. Why? Business, maybe. Uh, anyhow, uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Foreign Minister, uh, he went to uh, New York, uh, and there is a conference. I believe that it's going to be held there mm -hmm. uh, in a way or another uh, previously. Um, and I believe that there is now a, a kind of um, uh, declaration of a, st a new strategy where um, uh, uh, um, the, the foreign minister would ask to be adopted by the international community. Mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. that uh, um, the, the Egyptian administration doesn't want to be, uh, to, work, to act uh, unilaterally, uh, but they want to be as um, a comprehensive uh, effort by the international community to start. Uh, before that, I would like to say that uh, it's not going like this way. Let me point to the, uh, to the issue uh, when we saw such uh, another scene in France, when we saw a um, big number of uh, in, uh, uh, the globe uh, leaders. The, the Charlie Hebdo. Uh, mm, whatever. Uh, I'm talking about the, the, the action mm -hmm. that happened in, in, in France when we saw about uh, 50 leader of the international community. Mm. Uh, among them, there were uh, important Arab uh, presidents and mm. kings mm -hmm. that participated there, like President yeah. Mahmoud Abbas of Palestine and mm. King mm. Abdullah of Jordan and uh, some others, the Egyptian foreign minister, they were all there. I believe that that was the day that there was a declaration of an international comprehensive effort mm. to fight back the uh, fundamentalism mm in the whole world. Fanaticism. Especially. Okay. I because agree. fundamentals of religion are accepted, yeah. but fanaticism <laughs> in... Yes. I, I agree with you. Okay. Correct yeah. me, please. Yeah. As you corrected my information regarding the great uh, uh, actress, uh, Mary Munib, I yeah. know that she's a Jew, but you corrected... No, she's a, she's a Christian. I, I didn't know. Maybe my yeah. information are weak, but uh, either that she was a Jew or she was a Christian, she or, was a Christian. or she was a, a Muslim. We yeah. all loved her. But she was an Egyptian. But she was an Egyptian, and she was a human, and she wa she brought uh, 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 life and love to our lives. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, yes. um, so uh, what's happening in the whole um, um, international strategy, l l let's say like that, as we've been saying in previous uh, series in your program, Ms. Dina, we, we said, I, I personally said that there are changes happening in the whole world starting with our region. Mm. And what's going as some uh, politicians did uh, 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 describe what's happening in the Arab world as Arab Spring. They said that. And I told you that I didn't call it that. I called mm. that it is, this is political transformation in the whole region. Mm. So now it's getting more clear to the audience and to everyone that this is uh, political transformation. So what does that mean? Now it means that the, uh, the whole international uh, system order is mm. changing also so the Arabs must be p important part of this as they are the playground of the changes that are happening mm. there must be an Arab strategy forward facing what's happening in this region mm. and to the international community 
But that spokesman of Daesh that we saw the scene, mm. he was pointing and talking directly with a direct message to the Europeans when he said and when he gave the uh, he, he was on the seashore and he was talking in English and he sent the blood through the sea mm. to the to Europe. So mm. this message means that everyone are involved now mm. in this and the Arab world must be a part of that. This is what we what must happen now that the we, we shouldn't as Arabs be only um, what to say the playground without being or having our players in the scene in the mm -hmm. next scene mm -hmm. in the future because we are paying the price and we are the ones who are getting killed mm. uh, the, the blood is our blood and what's happening is is happening because we are living in, the, in this holy region mm. as everyone is saying mm. so the what did you call it fanatism Fanaticism. Fanaticism. Okay, e excellent. I wanted you to correct me again for the <laughs> audience. Uh, what we say here that this fanaticism is not only a Muslim. This fanaticism is not only Christian. This fanaticism is not only Jewish. So it is with no religion and it is not accepted from everyone. Look, what, uh, look, uh, look, look towards what's happening in Palestine because of the Israeli occupation that is full of fanaticism and terrorism How against come the Daesh did not hit at Palestine? You can ask them, this is an important <laughs> question. <laughs> that they Since you did raise the issue of Palestine, because the real enemy within my, the region... My Excellency, ma'am, I would, I would ask the, the same question and more than that. How are they moving freely on the borders of Palestine, Israel, whatever you want to call it, just call it. They are walking freely this the ones who on this side are feeling safe from them and the ones on the, the other side are feeling safe from the other ones these should be enemies the israelis are feeling safe with the daesh movements and the daesh are feeling very safe when the israelis are moving we didn't see any missile any bomb any uh, any any aggressive action from each any one of uh, of any of each uh, party the targeting the other party Am I wrong? I, I'm making a confession now. <laughs> so it's going like that. Mm. They are not afraid, worry of any of each other. They are a moving. Is the right description not afraid? Or maybe we should be not using afraid. another term. Uh, <laughs> would you like me to say that they are very uh, feeling very, what to say, very Charming? peace? <laughs> very peace that they are moving on the borders between these two parties. They, they feel that they are very peaceful and trust me, trusty maybe also. Mm. So um, this is unimaginable for everyone who is living in this region and maybe to the whole uh, uh, international community, to any human all over the world. Mm. It's not accepted. What happened is we have to insist that it is not accepted. Yes. And we cannot accept it even if we are going to see it frequently. We will never accept it this way. We believe that we are human, everyone is a human, and everyone must live and have the equality of the right of, of living on this earth. Yes. But I, mean, I have a question. Yeah. If they are against the Europeans, against the Christians, why are they are dying to live there? If you go to any Western country, even America, Canada, and all Europe, you see the Arabs and the Muslim uh, groups are living there, building their mosques, living the freedom there. How can you practice making themselves enemies to them, but they are dying to go and live there? I think there is another reason for that. Mm. They Isn't it justifiable? I mean, um, for example, um, President Sisi came on air uh, the day before yesterday, yes. the day of the yes. slaughtering of the yeah. directly uh, after 21 the Egyptians. Yes, directly after the incident. Yes. It was like after midnight, which yes. is not common that he would come out with a statement uh, that mm -hmm. late. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically he said that we hold it within our right to respond as we see fit, at the time we see fit. That's right. This was a message and that he was the, directing to Egyptians. Yes. And it was uh, agreed with the uh, regime of Libya itself. Uh, so, so, so yeah. um, um, uh, the fact that when the president came on Egyptian television and delivered this message, he was delivering the message to the Egyptians so that 
in the morning when we all woke up and we yes. heard that there was this airstrike on yes. uh, Daesh, we understand why there was this strike. So it's basically informing the people that voted for you, informing your people mm -hmm. That's right. that this, I mean, we all read between the lines yeah. that there will be a retaliation. Of course. Um, on the same note, the fact that, as you just mentioned, that those people coexist very peacefully yes. within the Western world. Mm -hmm. They're alleged fanatics that are against other religions, yes. yet they're living, they're working, they're, they, they, I mean, they're, they're coexisting very happily in Western countries, which are not Muslim countries. I Isn't this, in a way, in a way, if we look at, sort of add up all the pictures, isn't this, you know, even Western leaders in countries that allegedly say we are top-notch in democracy, they still have the taxpayer and they have to justify actions. You have to justify military spending. Mm -hmm. You have to justify any form of action. You have to ju justify military presence outside your own territory. The fact that those people do those actions, doesn't it fall within the framework? It might be a naive uh, uh, approach to things, but doesn't it justify why you would have a military base in Qatar, or why you attacked uh, Afghanistan, or why you attacked Iraq, or, or why you're adamant on getting into Syria, and Yemen, and Libya, and what have you? I think... Uh, oh, sorry. So sorry. Please, please. please. Comment, I, I, I will give my I, comment. I please. think we have to co differentiate between religions, politics, and the life. We cannot condemn all the Muslims living uh, in Europe that they are against us here and so on. Those young people who were filled with energy saying that if you kill these people, you'll go to heaven and will uh, take this, this and the paradise. And But not every Muslim like this. I know many, many thousands of Muslims in Europe and America and Canada and 